started PP about five years ago to look at how do we do, we develop the training and at that point of time um, we did a lot of research with a focus group with the waste pickers and then we started and then we develop a training also the importance of PPE. For example, dry waste a different kind of gloves and wet waste different kind of gloves. Uh, if you are doing uh, working on a shredder, then what for your ears? The fact was that uh, there was not a proper um, PPE for specifically for waste management. You can't say all waste pickers will use this glove, but if some waste pickers have chosen to work in organic waste, it's very very different. If there is a person who has chosen to just do the um, sorting of the waste, it's different. People who go on the street to pick up, it is different. And most of the time they say their wrist pain, their hands pain. So there is no support for the wrist. And the kind of waste over the period of time has changed. When you put your hand in, in the street dump, we don't know what. First of all, they shouldn't be putting a hand. That is a, the best thing that can happen. In absence of that, the PPE. I can tell you in 25 years of my work or 30 years of my work with waste picker, this is one area that we have not been successful. When we talk to waste picker, understand their issue, then we said, you know what, we have to design ourselves. If you don't design ourselves, it's not going to happen. When h &M had this opportunity to do PPE, then we said, yes, we want to do it. For the safety of work workers and safety of the health of the family, that is the reason why we wanted to do something on PT. Uh, two things we learned from them actually. The first thing is they we used to feel that because they can't feel the material, uh, they don't use it. But it's not true. After trying for a few minutes, a few days, they know what is what. So actually it is not comfortable very. It's hot. And we actually get um, gloves for dry waste with, um, you know, cotton thing inside and then outside there is a kind of a, a rubber coating. Even that was not appropriate for them. We worked with the designer, uh, Foley, who has uh, has worked earlier with, uh, with uh, other safety gears and all that. And uh, he's, he's also committed to this sector. So we said, why don't we do it? So we had a lot of research already existing in the last three years plus we did more research uh, for the design of the study um, and then came up with what are the elements that the designer should look at and then once he designs it and we test it again and once we have finalized it we want it, it's going to be open source anybody can make those gloves right now what we have designed yet to be um, rolled out for a pilot is the uniform that way that you can uh, separate out your leaves, the sleeves when you want. So people are very happy because uh, during the summer also we can wear, during winter also we can wear. Or the gloves we have tried, which gives some kind of a, um, support to the wrist. Um, uh, where we had looked at um, making it comfortable inside and soft um, so that they can use for longer hours. Then uh, the shoe we have, which we have designed, um, is they can wear it over their, um, you know, um, footwear that they are used to. So they are happy about it. Affordability is always a thing and uh, yeah, that is a big, big, big factor. If, if nobody is giving it to them and they have to purchase, it's a question of how much affordability are we talking about. At the same time, many of the pay times we have spoken to women and looked at how many times they go to buy a medicine in the, you know, uh, the medical shops. Is it really worth it? Can we afford 40 rupees a month uh, for our own health? For, can we use 50 rupees a month? Somehow 40, 45 rupees is something they are comfortable with. That we have um, identified. So the, the first uh, prototype uh, has been uh, deployed to few people to change and check and get the feedback. And they have given the feedback. One of the things they want to do is look, look at the longevity of each glove, whether it's use and throw or is it even how long does it uh, stay. So we are working on it. Generally in this in this community or any other labor community, they say, um, you know, they don't uh, use it. Uh, they don't uh, use the PPE because uh, we, we need to change that behavior. It's not about the behavior. We have already uh, 
known that and uh, the study definitely told us that it's not that they don't want to use it's not that they want to change their behavior to use it it's actually changing the design of the uh, product you give 